hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is goodness Ureke. if this is your first time here you're welcome so in today's video i'll be showing you how i play the shoulder and fix the tassel if you've not watched the part one of the video i suggest you go watch it so that you understand how i was able to drive the booboo gun So for the shoulder pleating, this is how I join it together. Remember the 2.5 inch that we got from the midpoint, that is the 2.5 inch height. Then we'll stitch it together and by coming down to the 4 inch. Reason why I'm using the 4 inch so that it doesn't go too down when I'm done pleating it. Then I'll do the same thing to the other shoulder. When you're done stitching it, you make your pleating to face your armhole side. This part, you need to be careful so that you don't join the wrong side when you're joining your shoulder. When you're done stitching the front side, you do the same thing to the back side also. And if you're doing that, you check if your if the two pleats, that is the front and back, are meeting each other, that is how you know that you are getting it correctly, just the way I'm doing right now. If the two pleats are meeting each other, that's how you know you're getting it correct. Then you go ahead and join your shoulder. I love using pin to hold the fabric so that it doesn't move, but if you can do it with free hand, it's optional. After joining the shoulder, I move to the ironing table to iron the pleats. After ironing the pleat, next is to fix the V-shaped neckline. In my previous video, I show how I was able to draft out the V-shaped neckline. If you've not watched the part one, I suggest you go watch it to enable you understand. Then I fold it into two and iron it out. You can use hemming gum to hold it. It's optional. After ironing it, I join it to the fabric like so. I'll be using pin to hold it all around so that it doesn't move when I'm joining it with the sewing machine. After I'm done joining it with the pin, then I sew it using half inch. reason why I'm using half inch to sew it is because I'll be weaving it when I'm done. After joining it, you make little notch on both sides like so. Not get to your material loop. <laughs> Tuck it in by crossing. And this is the reason why when I was drafting the neckline, I added like 4 inches so that I will have extra to cross to enable me get the V-shape. Then I moved to the sewing machine to stitch the down part. I was supposed to stitch the round, but the reason why I won't be stitching all around is because I'll be weaving the inner part to give me a clean work. Then after joining the down part, I iron it out. Next is the design in front. I'll be using hemming gum to fold the edges to give it a smooth look. I'll be cutting the hemming gum in thin lines so it fits in with the fold. Then I go ahead to use iron to hold it down. I'll do so for all sides. After folding the edges, I fold it into two to iron it out to enable me get the center. I do the same thing from the front part of my bubble gown. Note, you do all these things before you join the both side, that is the both side of your gown. Then you fix the tassel, so you fix it in a way that suits you. If you fix it and you don't like the shape or the style it's giving you, you can as well change it to another direction, just the way I did now. <laughs> got in the style that you want you iron it to get the center of that part before placing it then use chalk to mark where the tassel is placed it enables you to know where to put your tassel when you are sewing it using sewing machine use pin to hold it so it doesn't move when i'm stitching it with the sewing machine
sewing it all around. Then I clean off the chalk which I used for the tassel placement. Then I iron the center to remove the center line. Before I join the gown, I fold the sleeve and also hem the down part. Before I join the boat gown, remember that the gown have slit on both sides. Then I will measure myself to know where I want the slit to stop. Then I will measure it and mark it. For the joining, I will be using 1 inch to join it. I am using my tape rule to get the exact 1 inch so that I don't make mistakes. But you can also do it with freehand, it's optional. When you are joining it all, remember to stop at the place you marked for the slit. Then you go ahead to join your gown. When you've notched it at that slit point, you open it and also fold it again. You can use hemming gum or iron to hold it before you join it using your sewing machine. If you find this video helpful, please click the subscribe button, like, comment and share. This enables me to make more videos. Thank you for watching. See you on my next one. Bye.